Hello everyone, this is LeMayK here and I'm playing a little bit of BitTrip Presents Runner 2 Future Legend of Rhythm Alien. This is a sort of rhythm platformer from Gaijin Games. And in a similar vein to the first BitTrip Runner, you sort of run and there is music and it's also pretty difficult. When last we left Commander video also, at the beginning, there are intro videos that you can skip, but they always play. I wish you could turn that off, but... Anyway, I am the most Welcome of the Wonderland. way... Sorry, narrator. Uh, I am most of the way through the first world, and uh, you can see I've got just those at the bottom to finish. So, let's play one of the easier levels. And sort of see, I haven't collected all the gold. You don't need to do all the levels perfectly. But you do get bonus score if you do actually manage to do it perfectly. Anyway, as you can see, the art style has significantly changed. Beat key vault, yada yada yada. That's like, hey look, I can't get that key. And I'm not ready to be doing this yet. So, things I can do. I can jump, I can kick, and I can also slide under these things that are going to kill me. So most of the objective is run through the level and don't get hit. Also, use of this is you can sort of do a slight glide. It's not super obvious that that's what I'm doing, but it does get you a little bit further than a normal hop would have otherwise been able to get you. So, for the most part, it is run through the level, collect everything. The red pluses are sort of multipliers, and it so new to Runner 2 is this checkpoint system before in the original. You pretty much just had to go back to the beginning of the level and I sort of want to get myself killed because I missed that goal because I slid under it like an idiot. And you know, there are no penalties for using checkpoints, but you can hop over the checkpoints and that gets you extra scores. So if you're really trying to get all the best high score stuff, you would sort of jump over that and just eat it anyway. But you know, if you do use a checkpoint, you don't get penalized for it. You just don't get the bonus score that you would have otherwise gotten for jumping over it. And that was a relatively easy level. And if you do collect all the gold, you get this, which is hit the bullseye, which I am wonderfully inept at doing. Let's see if I can, yes, that's what I get. So I'm actually normally really bad at doing that, but you can see I've missed both objectives. So the keys, you need to beat the key vault, which is a sort of secret level, and I missed the chest. I have no idea where I missed that, but anyway, I have this symbol for having completed it and gotten a bullseye. You can see I've got full gold on this one, but I missed the bullseye. Also, there are some hidden levels that unlock dependent on gold, and I can just tap right and go straight to it. So I should probably also say I am playing this with the controller as all of the prompts on the screen are should make obvious, but you can play with the keyboard. They're fine for the most part. It's slightly awkward, but given that there aren't that many actions, it's not a big deal. So I'm hammering jump there to get that to turn over. Nope, kick. I had hit jump there instead of what I was supposed to do, and that's kick that wall down. And there are multiple worlds. I haven't gotten to them yet, but one would have to assume that they use a different art style to what's here. I missed that one piece of gold. I didn't care that much, but I suppose I'll have to go through this level again. So this is the, one of the things, when you're playing a new level, it's a lot of trying to figure out what's coming and sometimes you end up in situations of, okay, I messed up again in exactly the same spot, wonderful. And you're trying to figure out, you know, just what's coming and just more or less executing on it. And when you haven't played a level at all, you spend a significant amount of time. I'm just going to slide on right because it's easier. I would normally care more if I wasn't trying to talk. But for the sake of this video, I am more than happy. Oh, 
oh, I should not have done that. So, like I said, you can skip checkpoints if you are crazy. And have to go back to the beginning of the levels because they jumped over that checkpoint because I'm an idiot. Sorry. But it's really cool that you can do that, actually. I actually really, really like that. About, hey, look, we introduced a checkpoint system, but, oh, you can skip it if you want. So, let me just try and concentrate and hopefully not hilariously mess up. At least until I get to that checkpoint. Checkpoint. So the checkpoint system is actually really, really useful because in the original you would have like fairly long levels like this is. But you'd be reset to the beginning every single time, which was just infuriating. Um, I'm not sure whether they're going to introduce more checkpoints. I'm... I swear I hit jump there, or maybe I hit it too early. So jump is one of those few ones that actually matter. Yeah, I'm kick pressing jump kick way too early. So, you know, you can't kick forever, so you need to actually time it. Like slides you can do basically forever. So that jump I can't make just by doing a hop. If I glide, I should be able to make that. But I'm not doing it because I'm being terrible. Or I can just let myself fall. You know, those pluses, they are pretty much the things you want to be getting because they increase the multiplier. It's not such a big deal if you miss one gold in terms of score. And yeah, I missed some gold, but I completed that level and got a bunch of gold for doing it. Tell me I'm terrible because I missed three gold. Now there is like a, s a character select thing, but yay, I can play female commando girl. And there are a whole bunch of other things. I haven't loved locked anybody. I hadn't realized I'd unlocked another character because it didn't tell me at all. But presumably they all play the same. But let's go to one of these way later levels and see how difficult it actually got gets. Generally speaking, those unlock levels are significantly harder than the ones you had been doing. And, you know, so far, since this first world, it's been introducing more and more mechanics. And in general, anything that's bound to your movement, you can just sort of hold down and you'll do it indefinitely. And things like jump and kick, those you have to time a bit more. And, you know, there I was just holding up and it uses that jump pad. <sighs> so I did say earlier that this is a fairly big departure from the original in terms of art style. They do have a couple of retro levels that go back to the sort of pixely art style of the first one. I mean, it definitely seems more retro-inspired than even the original was, but... You know, it's still cool to see that to contrast it with what this says. Oh, I really should have let myself drop down there. Oh. So, I mean, that's something you would have realized, you know, I had sort of figured that out way too late, but... If I had played this level more, I would have realized that I should have let myself drop down on the first one. And alternate exit! So this has unlocked a different level on the path than would have been the main level. Generally, 
the alternate paths have gotten you a whole bunch of less gold than you would have, so your score would is much lower, but you get an alternate exit and a different level, which is this. So if I had gone through the main exit, I would have gone down here. But let's not go there. Let's go to the key vault, because that's something I need to do eventually anyway, because there are a whole bunch of key collectibles that I haven't been getting that I would actually like to do in the future. And I, you know, generally quite like this. It's nice interplay between, you know, music and platforming. I mean, it's sort of fairly loose. I'm mostly doing it by sight than, you know, actually by rhythm. But it's sort of nice the way that the chimes when you collect things sort of fit in with the music. Nope, didn't want to jump there. But it is a game that requires quite a lot of concentration to sort of play properly. Admittedly, I'm doing way better than I thought I would be doing for this video. Wait, how on earth is you supposed to get both? Okay. I assume those, since they are mutually exclusive, those both golds don't count to that 48 for needed for the level. That was actually really confusing and just like paralyze and not do anything. Oh, what on earth? That's ridiculous. How on earth are you even supposed to do that? And being not very good at these kind of games, I don't think I'm going to get, you know, much further than the first, maybe the second world. But it's, you know, a pretty cool game. I'm just going to slide under this because I'm going to be lazy. Oh, this is so much easier. Admittedly, I just missed a whole bunch of gold, but I don't care. Let me just finish this level. Thank you. So that top path seems absolutely absurd, but it seemed like that would be worth a whole, whole bunch of points. And, you know, I can toggle the leaderboard. But, you know, I don't actually think I'm that high on the leaderboard. I have no idea how this leaderboard works at all, but there's no way I'm actually that high. So I have probably about time to fail at one more level, so let's try this hidden one that I unlocked while I close this video out. But yeah, I'm, I am enjoying this quite a lot. I said, like, the way that when I dodge and do things, they chime in with the music. I really don't like the jumps and the kicks, mostly because of that timing. It's really difficult to get down. That's mostly just because I'm not used to it and terrible at it, not really a reflection of it because it's bad. So yeah, that's pretty much what Bitrip Runner 2 is. It's a, you know, pretty logical extension from where you would go after the first one. And it's a whole lot of fun, like the first one was, except for the fact that the whole checkpoint two system makes it a much more playable and significantly less infuriating game. I'm just gonna kick both of them. I'm not even gonna get that gold. But it's a lot of fun to play. So anyway. Oh, sigh. Of course, that's how I end the video. Anyway, this is McKay. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.